Hey Guru Nation, how's it going? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. Look, I've been getting asked on TikTok of all places and on LinkedIn. I got asked basically the same question. I have a PhD and I'm having a hard time. I feel like I'm having a hard time getting my career started in clinical research. Unfortunately, look, I'm going to be, I got some good news and some bad news for you. Let's go with the good news first. The good news your education, your degree, your advanced degree will pay off ROI wise within about two to three years of you being in the industry. Big time. That's when you start seeing exponential returns, possibly if you do the right networking and play your career trajectory the right way. Unfortunately, you're not going to get that ROI right away. You're going to have to take roles that people with much lesser degrees have, like sometimes study coordinators, sometimes in-house CRAs, sometimes study startup specialists, trial master file specialists. It's just stepping stones, guys. This entire industry should be considered a giant playground for you to figure out where you fit in. There's literally roles for anybody. CNA, medical assistant, PhD, uh, molecular cellular biology, med school dropout, international medical graduate. So the problem is not the opportunities in this space. The problem is getting an immediate return on your degree, which is very hard to do. Unless it's a practical degree like an RN, RNs, or obviously MDs, DOs. So that's the harsh reality. I don't know if anyone's going to tell you this stuff. But that's why this channel exists. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. This is based on my anecdotal experience of 17 years in this industry and talking to thousands of people. So nothing wrong with advanced degrees. You're going to get your ROI, your return on investment back. It just comes later, not right away. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Keep it short. Take care, Guru Nation. Bye-bye.